and that's geranium. Crane's bill. One of the two plants called alum root. I thought I'd mention it because there's Latin name geranium robertsoni. I think that's it, a robertsoni. Um, down a little lower in the canyon, you'll probably see geranium maculatum. There's two main species of useful wild geraniums or crane's bills. Uh, the ones with the white flowers that grow higher up and the ones with the pink-red flowers that grow further down. A whole plant in the root. I could say just another rose family astringent, but it's the geranium family, A, and B. Uh, it's a distinctly stronger disinfectant uh, than perhaps oak, oak bark or some of the other astringents. Uh, classically used crane's bill root, but classically is because the leaves aren't as stable in commerce as the root. And you can't put them in burlap bags and store them in warehouses until uh, two years from now when a drug company orders a bunch of shit. It's 1923. So, we have uh, the tyranny of commerce. Whole plant works similarly to the root. Um, tincture fresh? Fresh, dry. Uh, fresh, fresh plant tincture is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh plant eaten. Uh, if you just want to eat some because you've got a sore mouth or you want to mash it up and put it on a scratch, an abrasion, or a rock, rock burn or something. Uh, it's hemostatic. Uh, it's got a bunch of polyphenols in it that besides being semi-tanning and semi-shrinking also tend to kill a lot of bugs. Got a, got a pretty reasonable antimicrobial effect, all-purpose, and uh, works pretty well. I'm not going to claim which astringent is best. Uh, on this trip, we see, we'll see this one. I mean, the big astringents. we got this one. Uh, we'll see alum root, probably right across the creek, if not somewhere else. And we'll be seeing Bistort up in Trujillo. All three are big ass uh, uh, astringent roots and herbs. And, you know, whichever one you like is the one you like. There's not that much difference between them. I won't fib to you. Wait, this is called alum root also? It's sometimes called alum root. But alum, of course, is aluminum uh, hydroxide or whatever it is, it's a mineral. And this is called alum root because it makes your mouth pucker, like alum does. Uh, I call this crane's bell and I call the Euchara alum root, just a personal preference. Uh, this is probably the most common of the batch. And I don't know, it's never had a lot of fun digging geranium roots somehow. It just never appeals to me. But that's just my own preference, you know. It's widely used. I'm sure all of you have seen the word crane's bill in every herb book you have. Well, this is one of the two common crane's bills in New Mexico. This is nice called Herb Robert. Ever seen that name, Herb Robert? Yeah, well, that's an English country garden name. This is Herb Robert. Hello, this is Miss Herbalist. Yeah. Uh, English gets so excited about very small things. Island people learn to focus on smile. The Japanese do it, and in their own clunky way, uh, uh, post Viceroy English did it too. This is Herb Robert. This is my country garden. Uh, I suppose I've never been to England, so maybe there's not a lot of gardens except those people grow. Maybe the only place where plants exist anymore besides hedgerows and the occasional regional park where there's five heath plants is going to be in gardens. You know, so it's an old tradition, I gather, to grow plants in gardens because that's the only place plants are going to be. For more videos and plant teachings, visit Wild Medicine School at the link below.